Hello students, welcome back. In the previous videos, we have discussed about the types of sets. Now, we will continue with the topic of subsets, power sets, universal sets and Venn diagrams. What are subsets? Let's find out. So let's say X is a set of students of your school and Y is a set of students of your class. Clearly, whenever you are saying students of your class, they obviously belong to your school too, right? That means set Y already belongs to the set X because all the elements in Y are already present in X. So such sets whose all elements belong to another set is said to be the subset of the main set. In this case, clearly Y is a subset of X. This is fine. But sir, give me an example of more mathematical terms. I will. Okay. You know the set of natural numbers. Like they are 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Right. And you also know the set of whole numbers. Okay. Which are 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So clearly, set of whole numbers is 0 plus the set of all the natural numbers. Which is why set of natural numbers is a subset of set of whole numbers. Similarly, set of integers is a subset of set of rational numbers, etc. So, this is about subsets. Now, what is power set, sir? The collection of all the subsets of set A is called as a power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. For example, let's consider as a set of 1, 2. Okay, so what are the subsets of this set? The subsets are null set, set of 1, set 2 and set 1, 2. So this collection of all the subsets of set 1 comma 2 is called as a power set of set 1 comma 2. And then we have a universal set. What is universal set? A universal set is a set which contains all objects including itself without any repetition. So this is all about subsets, power sets and universal sets. Now let's move on to the very important topic Venn diagram. So what are Venn diagrams and why do we need them? So in sets, most of the relationships can be represented by means of diagrams which are known as Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are actually named after the English logician John Venn. These diagrams consist of rectangles and also closed curves, usually circles. The universal set is represented usually by a rectangle and its subsets by circles. In Venn diagrams, the elements of the set are written in their respective circles. For example, let's talk about EBD again. Now, we know that he plays for both South Africa and also IPL. Similarly, there is DCOG and also Duplessis Friend. So let's say set A is the South Africa players and set B is the IPL. Now, this is how we represent in Venn diagrams. The intersection of circles is because there are some common players who play for South Africa and IPL and the people who are not in the intersection area play for either South Africa or IPL. So students, this is all about the Venn diagrams. See you all in the next video. Stay healthy, stay safe, ciao.